Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, there was a video that was put up yesterday, and it was called What the Frickin' Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? And that video was designed because attentions need to have been gotten. And, oh, I'm downloading Unreal Engine. Okay. Unreal Engine. I've already downloaded Blender. So I, I had to re-download it because I had to reset the system. But while I'm doing this, I want to talk to you. And I want to explain something. There are a couple of things in life I hate. Now, mind you, there's not a single person on this planet that I can literally say I hate. There's never been a person on this planet that I've ever hated. Why? Because my mother and my father and my God has taught me not to hate anyone. Does that make sense? So I pay attention. I was just with a driver in a vehicle. He was bringing me home, and the driver was telling me about his grandmother. And my grandmother used to say this, and my grandmother did this, and my grandma. He was talking about his grandmother. Man, you know that he spent a lot of time around that woman, and he had a lot of respect for her. Well, you hear me talking about my mother and my father, because despite what other people think or believe or imagine, nobody knows me. My own parents didn't know me. Why? Because the only person on this planet who knows me and who can identify who the f I am is me. Everybody can only go from perception, from what they perceive. They have no clue. But let me, let me make sure I, I explain this so that it gets explained in a way that it's understandable. Be, despite what anybody might think of how I feel about this or that, my mother, my father, I talk about them all the time because of respect for those two. And if you don't talk about your parents all the time out of respect for them, then that shows nothing. I can't tell you how to speak about your parents, how to be around your parents, how to act around your parents. I do remember this. Why are you letting him talk to you like that? Is what my sister would say to my mother. I remember, I can't, I can't see it, but I can hear it in my ear. And my mother would say, because he's allowed to do that. The rest of y'all can't. But he's different. Just that simple. They knew, both my mother and father knew that I was different from the rest of my brothers and sisters. They knew that I was different. To this day, everybody who meets us say, huh, he don't act like the rest of y'all. I can't believe that's your brother. They literally would say that, but he looks like y'all, so y'all family. But, you know, people would say that all the time, that I did not act like my brothers and sisters. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I would often say this, and people would often hear me say it. It's not an act. I'm not acting. I don't have to act like that, Tyrese. Sorry, I apologize. Ladies and gentlemen, it says I need to open this because I have to open the launcher in order to deal with this one right here. See right here, this one? And so that's what I'm doing. It says I have to have the launcher first before I can have the engine. Got, got to turn on the launcher before you can have the engine. Well, y'all don't worry about that. It's still installing. I got to wait. The gentleman whom I have been talking to you guys about in that video that I did last evening, the video was designed to get his attention. All I can tell you is I believe it got his attention. I hate being ignored. When I tell you there are very few things I hate, you have no idea. I don't mind people disrespecting me. You can disrespect me, but if you're an agent, an officer, or a government employee, you don't get to disrespect me. I promise you I'll make that the last thing you ever did. No, I won't hit you, won't harm you, won't threaten you. I use the system to make sure you understand that I am the last person you get to do that with. Ladies and gentlemen, if you claim that you're my friend and I try to communicate with you and you ignore me, but 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 we still have some unfinished business and you ignore me, 
And yes, this person ignored me because they were told to. I don't give up. They should have been communicating through some means, telling me, hey, everything's all right. Look, I need you to know that this might take a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, I know I said I was going to get in touch with you, but I'm sorry about that. It, it's taken longer than I thought, but he'll be in touch with you. That's all they had to do. Now, I'm straight, and he's going to watch this, okay? I'm straight. I don't have a problem. I just didn't want anybody getting over on me again. It ain't about any stupid money. It's about somebody saying that they were supposed to be a friend, and then they stop communicating. That's happened to me too many times, and I told people that's not going to happen. This person and I, this one that this video is directed to, and I had a conversation two weeks before he did this about just this point. And he did, and he, he says he can't believe it. Can't believe it. I would think such a thing. Really? I couldn't believe it either. You feel me? So, ladies and gentlemen, for the world to know, I don't have a problem. I don't dislike people. I don't hate people. What I don't like is being left in the dark. I don't need to know everything. Look, this is, I'm going to say this and I'm going to let this video go because I got work to do. A friend of mine, his name was Marshall, and we called him Brother Marshall. Uh, he's a Jehovah's Witness. He went to the same congregation with me and the Williams, Venus and Serena Williams, his mother and father. And Marshall pulled me to the side one day because my son's mother, the parents, my son's grandparents didn't like me. Couldn't stand me! I ain't never did anything to those ignorant mother, I mean, uh, them people. L l ladies and gentlemen, I never did nothing right. Or, well, when the father asked me what was my intentions with his daughter, I said, I plan on marrying her. And then I plan on taking her as far away from here as I possibly can. And he asked, why would I do that? I said, to get her as far away from her mother as I can possibly get her because nobody's going to be running my house but me and my wife. But I'm not going to let somebody from the outside sit up here and dictate what goes on in my house. I'm 19 years old at the time, ladies and gentlemen. I told you, you think I don't have, <laughs> have empathy now. Back then, I told people the way things were. I didn't mince words. There was no being tactful. Still have to learn that. Well, he went back and he told that, ho I mean, that woman. And look, I don't have no respect for that, that, that creature. I don't care about her. Uh, I don't hate her, but I don't care about her. It's because of her that the relationship between me and my son has been frayed. Okay? She's an ignorant woman in my book. Not my son's mother, but my son's mother's mother, his grandmama. I haven't said too much about that hoe. And that's right, I said that because that's what she is to me. She can't change. She's not going to change. That woman is so spiteful, it's pathetic. See, that's a woman when I say the word woman. So he, Marshall told me, he says, look, do you love her? I said, yes, I do. He says, well, does she love you? I said, I believe she does. He says, well, if she loves you, the only thing you have to do is say hello to her once a week. And that will be enough to hold her. Now, I, I disagree with that now. And I'm not joking. I disagree with that now. I believe that once a day is necessary in order to keep that relationship going if it's truly love. What, a man and a wife? Once a day? Okay. With friends? At least once a week. But that should be enough. Ladies and gentlemen, all this person had to do was tell me, look, there are some things going on that I can't talk about right now, but I give you my word. I will talk about you with you as soon as it's over. It might take a little bit of time, probably three or four weeks, but I'll let you know, and if it's going to be longer, I'll let you know. Should have said something like that. We would have had no problem. I got too many things going on to be worrying about whether somebody's going to contact me tomorrow. But when I email them, text them, call them, there's no response, then I'm going to use the pulpit. What? What's the pulpit? 
I'm I'm on the pulpit right now. You're on the pulpit? You're on the pulpit? Oh, you're doing that in public? Are you supposed to do that privately? Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is no problem. Um, let me explain to you guys. If it were, if the person was trying to leave me in the dark, if the person was trying to make it seem like I didn't exist anymore, then I was definitely going to make sure that the whole world knew about our agreement and knew about all the things that would validate that we had an agreement. Because I know that there will be some legal persons telling the person, well, don't worry about it. Y'all may have had an agreement, but, you know, it wasn't in writing. That's why. That was necessary. I'm tired of people getting over on me. Lord have mercy, I'm tired of people getting over on me. I told you, the friend that $351,000, ladies and gentlemen. And all he had to do was give me 50 as we agreed. He gave me $3,400 and told me goodbye. Under what justification was that? Okay. What, what, where is the justification for that? There, there is none, but that's what he did. So I'm tired of it happening. It's not that I'm a nice guy. Do not, don't you dare. I am not a nice guy. I don't ever finish last. Okay, I'm first on race day. I'm not, 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 no, no, not a Ford. Okay, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm first on race day. So I'm never last. Don't finish last. Everybody else can finish last. Well, when I'm eating in a group, I finish last. Okay, but everything else, don't finish last. Anyway, so I just want to let you guys know that everything is okay. Now, I took the video down. Tomorrow I will do a video for all of you arbitrators. I mean arbitration clients to every single person who's ever been part of an arbitration hearing. Letting you know about how to handle your tax credits and I'll explain it in layman's terms so that you get it so tax credits via arbitration in layman's terms it will be the video will be titled something like that but I will explain it from A to Z so that you get it and I'll do it simplistically I'll even take you through the steps of the documentation is that is that okay with everyone I want to thank those of you who allowed me to put the video up to get the young man's attention because it did get his attention oh sorry one last thing Bradley Christopher Stark appears to still be incarcerated according to the website even though when you saw when I went to the website he was not incarcerated his name didn't appear nowhere in the system but some people have found him they say he is located in Texas I don't want you guys to forget Bradley because I won't forget Bradley if things work out the way I hope it works out. I promise you I will assist Bradley because that was the promise I gave. That's why I asked for permission to use the contract. And I had messages gotten to him and I made a promise that if we were allowed to use the contract, because I asked for permission, not like these other people, which is why I took offense when the other people didn't ask us for permission to sell the contract and all that other stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, you must understand the contracts on SAA is still viable. SAA as an organization is still viable. If you want to get tax credits, all you got to do is validate a debt. How do you do that? Download one of the contracts. Send it out. The contract has a clause in it. Make sure you highlight the clause. If you have a duty to respond and you fail to respond, a non-response will constitute conduct and or performances according to the terms of this agreement and therefore you submit to all of the terms of this agreement without exception just put a statement in it something like that that's it it's a catch-22 statement if they have a duty to respond and they fail to respond they are in violation of the agreement that's what they did with the attorney general don't do the tacit acquiescence a silence is tacit silence is tacit Tacit acquiescence when there is a duty to respond. All right. Hey, thank all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, please have a good day. 
and take care of yourselves. Adios.